I'm Adam. I'm Brian. I'm back with another episode of Buds and Suds. So we have another Eclipse 50-50 here. This is Vanilla from 2015. It's 11.9%. And I've been holding on to this one and dying to try it. So hopefully, uh, I mean, it's only 2015, so the Vanilla surely hadn't fallen off by now. Uh, just recently had what uh, the Java, which was really good, and the Elijah Craig 2012, which we didn't review. But we'll have to do one of those later. I which one did we review? Because I was looking through our videos. Um, it may have been an Elijah Craig. I thought it was. From like 13 or something. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but I had a 12 that uh, we just you know, I think shared. It, I think it was a 14. And, and again, I think it was before we were into Stout. So mm -hmm. we've gotten a lot more experience. So. Yeah, they, they're making some really good stuff. We're uh, working hard to make better videos. That's right. <laughs> that's right. It's tough. It's, it's, it's hard work. It's a hard job. We're doing it for you. But someone viewers. has to do it. Yeah, we want to drink and get experience so that we put the highest quality videos. Yeah. It's, it's, it's definitely hard work, but it's... Someone has to do it. Someone has to do it. Might as well be us. Absolutely. Let's get right. into it. So pour kind of thin. It I mean, it's pitch black. It's a little thin. But uh, it holds the glass pretty well, tan head there. I mean, you can see those alcohol legs there. It's just, yeah. Um, anyway, All right, let's do it. Let's no, do it. Smell. smell first, yeah. Freaking it just chewy. It smells like Bourbon chocolate. County. Do you smell that? Yeah, absolutely. It smells like Bourbon County. It does. I mean, it's it's huge, sweet, chewy brownie. I mean, mm -hmm. there's like sweet milk chocolate, yeah, get vanilla. The, the sweet chocolate and vanilla. Oh, huge vanilla. A little bit of hint of bourbon there. Yeah, kind of mild boozy. I mean, it, it really smells like a frequent, uh, a liquid, liquid brownie. It does. Let's yeah. do it. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's delicious. Oh, wow. Holy crap, that's it delicious. big vanilla still. Huge mm. vanilla. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a vanilla nut, and this is, this has got a lot of it. It's a little thicker than I expected from, you know, just swirling the glass. I mean, I know it held to it, but mm -hmm. you can kind of just watching it, it just looks thinner. Uh, I it's think still kind of thin. The vanilla almost gives it like an icing-like character. Yeah, I mean, it does. it's, um, yeah, it's, it's like a chocolate, mm -hmm. it's like a chocolate, vanilla icing chocolate cupcake. Uh, this is desserty sweet. Yeah, it is. That's really good. Just a little bit of cocoa bitterness there. Mm, very minimal. Minimal. I, I yeah. agree. Yeah, I was just going to say it's not a big Russian Imperial stout mm. with huge bitterness. It's really more of a, I mean, it tastes like a sweet stout, but I think it's probably because of the vanilla and the bourbon make mm. it taste sweeter. That's really good. I'd put this up there with some of those vanilla stouts we've been drinking. Oh, it, it is. It's up there. If it was just a little thicker yeah, uh, and a little more vanilla nose, I think it would be. But this one's actually obtainable. I mean, I know all these are expensive, but it's not like huge, ridiculous markups. No, it's not. Uh, or hard, you know, trading two for one, three to one, four to mm -hmm. one for, you know, dollar value. Um, yeah, this these, is. these are out of California. I bought them from Chicago from a place. I don't want to tell you where because I don't want you buying all my stash. <laughs> but, you know, they're about 30 to... 35 bucks a bottle yeah. <clears throat> and then you pay for shipping, but it's not bad. I mean, that's that's pretty good for this quality of a beer mm -hmm. Yeah, we were talking about not finishing this and just sending it home with him, but I'm gonna have to change <laughs> That decision has been changed. <laughs> this is wonderful um, Man, I'm right in between a four five and four seven five. Yeah, I really too. love this and I again I've said it before I'm preferential to sweet stouts. I love vanilla. vanilla. This is right up my alley. I'm gonna go and bump it and give it a four seven five. I love this. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go um, four six two five because I want to go. I mean, I, it's better than a four two or a four five, but to me it's not quite a four yeah. seven five. So I'm gonna go four six two or four six two five. It's really good. Yeah, uh, I mean the mouthfeel, like you said, it's a little that's the thin, only thing, and, and the nose just I wish there was more vanilla. Yeah, so yeah, I agree. I, I'm gonna keep my four seven five, but it is on the four seven five mm. minus range <sighs> just because of that. It's just thin, but it's just it's very delicious. I mean, and this the is a very is phenomenal. It's, it's awesome. I, I was I have to admit, you know, the, the nose smelled more like a Bourbon County, but just Bourbon County. And I mean, I didn't get much vanilla. I mean, there's it's there on the nose, but it's not huge. But then on the flavor, and that's huge vanilla flavor. So I, yeah, it's it's good. Desserty, delicious. Don't get like a big boozy flavor. I mean, it's there, but it's not overwhelming. Yeah, twelve percent, eleven point nine. I mean, I would have never guessed that based on yeah. the flavor. That's really good. This is really good. Four seven five minus for me. Yep. Four six two five for yep. him. This is a I'll search out. It. This is a get. You got to try it. Mm -hmm. are, are all the variants about the same? Um, 
level of difficulty to obtain or some variants like I think there's so there was one that was the pappy barrel uh, um, that you was put real pappy on get. anything <laughs> I, I, I told him just homebrew something and put a little shot of pappy in it and then you could freaking yeah. mark that up and sell it on the black market that one's hard to get okay. um, the Elijah Craig I mean they've got a bunch of different variants I, I've got a 12 well, I had a 12 I've got a 14 and 15 still um, the four roses that was a little harder to get okay. i could only get one of those uh which we haven't tried yet okay. i'm looking forward to it's trying that one the grand crew is a little easier to try or to get but it's not as good so i've heard okay um but the java and the vanilla uh they both are oh, right up there okay so i, yeah. I don't know try any, any of their i've never Absolutely. had one of theirs that's bad no I think they're all they're really wonderful good. and again expensive but uh i have i've been i mean i would say worth it Absolutely. Yeah. Gotta get these. As always, if you can't have the beer you love, love the beer you have. Thanks.